Hello, my name is Nicholas Snow, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my amp, the Crescendo Bass Clef 4K, and some of the settings I have on my amp. I know a lot of people have asked, um, you know, where do I set my subsonic filter? Where do I set my low pass filter? Today I'm going to show you guys what I have on my amp, and then we're going to give a quick demo of it just uh, for the ones who haven't seen the actual system running yet. Um, if you haven't seen, I do have some other videos kind of detailing why my subs are inverted um, and just what this system can do. But today we're gonna mainly focus on the amp and hopefully you stick around for the ride. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm always uploading new videos, new content to my channel about this system and um, hope you enjoy. Okay, moving over to the amp. Going from left to right, we have our power and protect lights. We have our gain, our subsonic filter, our remote, low pass, and our phase. And then output, master, output, slave. So, moving from left to right, we can see my gain is, if max is all the way turned clockwise to the right, and the minimum is turned all the way counterclockwise to the left. Um, we can see that I'm about three fourths of the way up. Um, I don't like to go 100% max because you're gonna introduce some distortion into your amplifier. Uh, subsonic filter, I have mine set um, at about 31. Um, what the subsonic filter does is anything below the frequency you pick it will start to eliminate those noises at a 12 per dB octave. So um, it'll reduce how much power it puts towards those lower notes. So what a lot of people do and what I've done in my system is I set my subsonic filter equal to what my box is tuned to. So my box is tuned to 31 Hertz. I have my subsonic filter at 31 or as close as I can. Um, so any frequencies lower than that 31 will be drastically reduced coming out of the amp, um, which is okay because my box isn't designed to play that low anyways. To the, next, to the side of that, we have a remote. You can um, link two of these amps together. After that, we have our low pass filter. Um, that is meaning any frequency below the frequency you pick will be passed through the amp. So mine is set, I believe, to about 80. And that's generally what um, you want to cross over your subs at. Um, so anything above this 80 um, hertz will be eliminated um, and not come into the amp. Anything below it will be passed through. So it's allowing the low frequencies to pass through. That's why it's called a low pass. And finally, phase. Um, I have mine set to zero. That's if you had a configuration where you had one sub inverted and one sub not inverted, um, you can phase them uh, zero or 180 degrees. Input, uh, slave and master, basically saying, is this the amp that is going to be controlling the other amp if you're using remote, or is it going to be uh, the one getting controlled? And that's basically all there is to that. So my amp settings are pretty standard across the board. Um, and with that being said, we'll hop into a demo and show you what the system can do. Okay guys, uh, we got some royalty few music. We're gonna turn it up and see how it sounds on the system. Thank you. 
I want to thank you for watching the video and if you have any suggestions on what you would like me to do or um, anything you'd like me to record, uh, just drop them down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to add it in another video. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the content that I drop. Uh, like the video if you liked it and if you didn't, tell me how I can improve. Um, I hope to see you next time. I'm out.